Come on down! Woo! Oh, I'm going to bring my plate. <laughs> hey, right, bring, right. bring your plate with you, will you? We can should I add... Try, can I try bring some of that? Oh, absolutely. You got to go for it. Kidding? We should add... We sh we, where are we? we should, we brilliant. We should add very quickly... We should add very quickly yeah. that Meatloaf's <laughs> next of kin are being informed just as soon as we can. <laughs> right? Oh. Right. Uh, Meatloaf, Meatloaf, I want to ask you this question. In this mad, insane world that we live in, how do you stay happy? How do you stay sane? I don't. <laughs> By do, way? I, do I? I don't. Uh, how do I stay happy? I'll tell you What's what. What's your I, safety valve, in other words? I tell you what I do. I when I when I don't have anything to do, I don't do anything. That's my safety <laughs> valve. I don't do a thing. I don't talk. I just sit in a chair stare at a wall and do nothing I just disappear I mean it's right. like I, I just leave I mean that's my safety valve and I sort of people go how do you do this because they'll they'll come into a room and I'm sitting there and I just am sitting they'll be talking to me and I don't hear them I don't know how to meditate but I think it's sort of similar to that well we're glad you didn't disappear today Phil yeah. very briefly what's your like safety valve I sit in front of the television and watch uh Manchester United, right? very similar to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, we're on television, Phil. You can't do that television. Now, Russell Bishop, I know it won't take you six days to tell us. Tell us very briefly, what's your, what's your release from the insanity and the pressures of life? The, the primary one is meditation. Right. And you, Jilly? How about well, you? I, I don't like to be too sane too often. I mean, it's, no, it's quite, awfully quite. sensible and boring, isn't it? <laughs> they say no, it's a medical condition. I did try, and um, they're a wonderful mother. Oh, great. <laughs> I have one. I have oh, Rusty, we don't have to ask you, do we? No, no. <laughs> I actually, I enjoy being a mum, and I enjoy isn't life it? very much. It's fabulous. And just it? going out and meeting people, that's my that's forte. I right. <laughs> exactly. Listen, listen, we've had such a fantastic time here with Meatloaf and Phil. Let's just remind everybody, Meatloaf is actually travelling all around the country. It's very interesting. You're avoiding some of the big places, aren't you? You've got a yeah, tour right round starting oh. in November the 1st <laughs> to December the 13th. Sorry, far away. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was just saying, yeah, because... I, uh, talking to people like Phil and uh, people like Status Quo and people that actually tour England, used to, I just came in and I did Wembley in the NEC in, in Brighton, and, and I eventually figured out that's, I don't, you wouldn't tour America by going to New York and Los Angeles, and you don't tour uh, Europe by going to Paris. So I figured, let's go out to where the people are, and that's where we're going. I have another form of relaxation now, too. I'm going to watch uh, the tape every morning to, of her in her underwear, which is <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that would become a national, uh, national tradition. Oh, yeah, the coffee growers are going on strike because he woke too many people up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I want to know how you're awake. We dragged you from Great Yarmouth. You're, well, you're popping off the Where is it Bradford tonight? Yeah. Well, so I'm awake it. because I didn't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're playing Bradford tonight, and then we get a day off, so... And then we're doing some gigs like Portsmouth and Bath and... And Russell and Jilly, Russell, I, do you not think that now that uh, Meat Loaf's album should be part of your course? Oh, clearly. In <laughs> fact, Meat Loaf should be part of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> OK, we well, had a great time. When do I go? <laughs> Wednesday. 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 Thanks to you, Meat Loaf. Thanks to you, Phil. Cheers. Thanks, Russell. Thanks very much indeed, Jilly. A pleasure. <laughs> and thanks, as ever, to you, Russell. You're very welcome. Lovely. Rusty, right. right on. <laughs> so, well, I've got news for all of you. If you're not awake now, then you're clinically dead. But <laughs> if you are clinically dead, we've got the Wide Awake Club right after the break. So tune into that. There's David Frost tomorrow with Peter Walker and Virginia. Wade. And on next week's show, we have the lovely and courageous Vivian Neves and Dream Home, all sorts of things. Saturday call on skiing, winter holidays with Alison Rice, the travel expert. And don't forget, ask viewers, please, please, viewers, write into Saturday call, winter holidays, TV AM, PO Box 200, London NW1. If you're taking this down, you're brilliant. ATQ. And that's it for the moment. Bye! Okay, bye! bye. 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 bye.